Hi, and welcome to my solo travel to Ghent. I decided to go last minute and I found out that it was very easy to go with the Flixbus. Let's go! I arrived in Ghent, uh, the bus trip was 4 hours I think, it was not so long, I was just uh, chilling. I had the window in front, upstairs, and I was like, yeah, I can look outside, it's nice, but there was only like bird poop everywhere, <laughs> so that was pretty shitty. I'm walking now towards my hostel, the check-in is at 3, so I have to wait a bit. Um, but I think I can drop off my luggage and then I'm going to explore Ghent, whether it's around 20 degrees, very good. second morning the second day in no it's not the second morning it's the second day in Ghent yesterday I had fun time in the evening but on a day it was a bit uncomfortable for me that's a thing that I have since I was young if I'm on a trip I feel the first day homesick and I didn't want to go home yesterday but it's just for me a combination of feeling overwhelmed and go with the flow in the new situation but that's something I had all my life, so I'm used to it and I know that it's just a few hours and then it's gone. So the first day and then it's gone. And it did. <laughs> and in the evening it was amazing. I wanted to do uh, a free guided tour and then I found out that there were not enough people to do the tour. But the girl from the tour told me about some live music bars or like four of them I think and I was like what <laughs> and they have every night live music and she was like yeah yeah almost every night and I was like wow cool <laughs> so I went to the hot club bar it was pretty funny I was looking for it like 20 minutes and I couldn't find it I was looking at my google maps and I was like it should be here but I can't get there I should be there right now but I'm not <laughs> so I went into another cafe that was really close by and I asked them you know where the hot bar is and they were like yeah yeah come in and they led me to a small door in their cafe and then I was into like a really small street <laughs> where I just could fit in in my uh, white and there was it the bar I 
and on my way to the universe of Gent, they have a botanical garden. No, it's one. <laughs> but I'm now going back to my hostel. I met with two people from India that are they are doing their master here in business in Ghent and we did some drinks and did some bar hopping that is normal here. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know that but it's like one drink here, one drink there. It's so insanely quiet on the street. I think in Amsterdam it's not really possible. I'm almost at my hostel and then I'm going to bed. Castle of Torture I did get a phone with an audio tour on it and you just could walk through the castle and listen to the audio tour and there was a lot of art really beautiful it was like child's book pictures I was in love with it and the audio tour was so funny I just laughed like a thousand times <laughs> on my own it was really storytelling it was kind of weird that the castle of torture was so much fun. I wasn't expecting that. and they were with a newborn and they grabbed out of their bag some glasses and a bottle of champagne and they popped that and it was such a lovely image with their newborn and the river and sunset it was so romantic it felt like a feel-good rom-com ending <laughs> today i'm having such a good day that i'm on my way to a storytelling event Uh, so I have to go 30 minutes back now, but I'm so extremely tired. <laughs> it was like bedtime stories for me. I... Yeah. 
there was live music at Mississippi Cafe and it was blues and it was really amazing you know that feeling that the music is going somewhere and it's like pfft. it was like that but my night sleep wasn't that great was someone really snoring so hard in my room so i had to put my earplugs in and then music on it and i slept literally with my hands on my ears to push it because it was so loud i heard a bass in his snoring <laughs> On my last day, I went to the Dali exhibition in the Light Church with Patrick and John. I met them at the hostel. Patrick knew a lot about Dali, so he was our private guide. <laughs> so that's always good. I'm now on my way to my flex bus. There is a way of coming and there's a way of going. But I'm for sure that I'm going definitely back here because I loved it so much. I had so much fun 